In my last video where I lived on the Carrick for 72 hours, I spent some time on the roof of the ship sniping Ninetales on the Orison platform missions and tractor beaming their bodies onto the ship to loot. And Mike Loven in the comments described it as though I'd turned Star Citizen into a fishing simulator but with sniper rifles and tractor beams. So I just stole that idea and here we are. This is fishing on my yacht in Star Citizen. Cheers, Mike. My boat of choice for this trip is going to be the Origin 400R, a beautiful yacht that, <coughs> um, I don't know, that was like a southern accent. All right, first of all, sorry, I could stop the whole role playing for a minute. This button here has been broken for so long in game. It's one of the last few things that the 400R needs to be fixed before it's running well. I, for put. The issue council link below in the description. If anyone else, this, this drives anyone else insane, please, if you've got the time, spend the time to go and report it to the issue council so we can try and get it fixed. This thing drives me just bonkers mad. All right, so I had to get a few you know, fishing trip snacks for this one. So I got like, my hot dogs, my watermelon slices, my katsu sandwiches ready, and I head out to a little fishing hole that I like to call the same place I always go to do this kind of thing, the Orison Platform Missions, because it's essentially, it's a bunker that's completely open air. And so you can park your little boat around at any point and try and land a big fish. God, it's so pretty. All right, I think I think I could see some little old fishies down here. I can probably get. Let's just get my rod already. Get my snacks lined up. I'm using the wildwood sniper rifle. Uh, well, I mean the wildwood fishing rod for this little expedition. As a little fella, how you doing? And uh, gonna look for something a bit bigger. There you go. Whoa. He didn't even put up a struggle. All right, I'm gonna name this one Floaty Mike. That's the guy who gave me the idea in the comments to do this. She's floating like a skip gun too, while we're at it. Luckily you can access the inventory of the ship while you're on this uh, platform, so it's easy to skin the fish after you've caught them. You know, you, you always need to remember to skin the fish as soon as you get them, to retain that, uh, you know, fresh skinness. Ah, ah, whiffed it. Ah, there you go. I can't get him there, but... Yeah. Easy. Alright. I'm gonna name this one... Lil Terry. Come here, Lil Terry. You're gonna be my new best friend. You wanna be him? <gasps> Lil Terry! No! No! Oh man, I only knew him for a little while, but he was already my favorite fish. Alright. Yeah? How many have we killed so far? I'll call this one New Terry after Old Terry, who was Little Terry. No! Careful not to Terry drop him. Beautiful. Skin him right. God. Little Terry would have loved this. 
Uh, Rest in peace, look, there is one's for you. Oof. This one, this one, he's gonna, his name's Evil Mike. I don't know why, but it's giving me weird vibes. Alright, it's kind of, I kind of like grabbed them. A lot of them I killed and they were hiding behind stuff, so they kind of repositioned my boat to get them. Name will be Dave Michelson. Welcome to the pile, Michelson. Oh, there's a big one. His name's gonna be Big Terry. No relation to Little Terry. This one can be Mike Davelson. Got a good pile. It's time to put off with another beer. I think I snapped my wrist like that. Yeah, oh, little Terry would have loved this. What's for you, buddy? Okay. This is the second thing that drives me crazy. These doors to the bridge and to the head upstairs are just see through portals to nothingness and. It's the second thing which is just ruined on the 400i, seemingly just for stupid reasons. So this too, I've left the link to the issue council down below. So if this also annoys you and you've got some time, please also report that as well. And hopefully we can get it fixed before it goes live because God damn it, it just spoils such a pretty ship otherwise. Right, so that's this platform done. Um, so I'll just go down below, see if I can find another good fishing hole. Yeah, you can see some little little wriggles over here. Trying to spook them. Just make sure I plant my catch. Trash. All right. Yeah, here's a good one. Oh, oh, this one's a fighter. Oh, nope, they bite. Okay. Um. Um. Oh, it's not the carrot. Can't respawn it. Um. So when I got on this server, there was only three other people on here. Help, I've been injured in a fishing accident. Need medical assistance. I didn't tell anyone that I was going out fishing before I left too, so no one knows I'm out here. God, wish I could reach that beer right now. As I write this letter, I am adrift in the middle of the ocean, surrounded by nothing but the endless expanse of water. My boat is broken and I have no means of navigation or communication. I am lost, alone, and with no hope of being rescued or returning to shore. I'm writing this letter with a heavy heart and tears in my eyes. Little Terry, my dear friend and companion on this journey has passed away, and I am devastated by his loss. Little Terry was more than just a friend to me. He was my confidant, my support, my inspiration. He had a heart of gold, and he always knew how to lift my spirits and make me laugh, even in the toughest of times. I'll always remember the sound of his laughter, the warmth of his hugs, and the wisdom of his words. 
he taught me so much about life, love and friendship and he made me a better person just by being in my life. I will miss his smile, his stories and his unwavering loyalty. I will miss the way he looked out for me and the way he made me feel like I was never alone. He was my rock, my anchor and my compass and I will forever be grateful for the time we spent together. But even though he is gone, I know that his spirit will live on. His kindness and generosity will- Holy fuck sticks, someone picked up my rescue beacon. <gasps> Super nudge. <gasps> Didn't plan very well for this, no tractor beam. Six, oh my God, he's six kilometers away. Please, oh my God, if I actually, if I actually get out. What the fuck was that? Uh, is he still around? Why well, still that way? I don't know what that was exploding, but he's still. No, this may require a crash landing. There is. Oh my God, he's in an arrow. He can't. Ah, uh, he doesn't have the mission. I thought. I thought they fixed it. So if someone's coming to rescue you, rescue attempt interrupted. Now I'm in question. <laughs> uh, you killed me, Nudge. You fucking killed me. So, I went and got the Pisces and head back out to the fishing hole. I had some fish to pick up who had vibrated violently outside of the boat and they weren't going to pick them up themselves. Uh, here's a couple... Here's the little nibble that got me before. Man, here we go. Oh, so like the boat calmly came to shore. Let's just see, this is my fault for not putting them in the, in the fridge on the boat. It could have gone wrong, but luckily this boat comes with a nice big walk-in freezer. <sighs> All right, let's see if I can't add a few more numbers to the fridge before we go home. Hey! Oh! In the dick. Double dick. All right, let's just pull them up through the main uh, tongue of the boat. Lovely, nice big one. Just chuck him in the fridge, I'll let my lesson. Oh yeah, it's a good looking trout. Skinned and ready to be put on ice. Well, it's a bit of a tidy haul if I do say so myself. I'll save you all the trouble of uh, writing an insulting comment down below asking me what the hell is this? I don't know. I, I lost track of what I was doing as soon as I started doing it. So, um, it wasn't until near the end that I realized this is pretty much the same as the last video, except without the carrot and that bit of testing. But, um, hey, if you enjoyed it, <laughs> leave a like, subscribe to the channel. My name's Dead Leader, and I'll see you out on the lake. Space. It's cold and it's lonely. But you don't need to be with Deadly the Merchandise. Merchandising. With Deadly the Merch, you can represent Star Citizen without looking like a dog. Merchandising. Everyone will think it's for some sick band, and if they ask what Dead Leader is, you can just say, you probably wouldn't know him and they'll think you're sick. Merchandising. So grab your Dead Leader merch today and support your favorite content creator. Me, Dead Leader. Merchandising.